All right, all right. Welcome back to Eyes Open Media. As you guys can see here, uh, this woman is drawing, uh, you know, a painting or, or some type of chalk uh, painting of a, of a, or graffiti of, of a brain. And then inside the brain, it has, you know, all the things that the mind is, is uh, you know, thinking about uh, products, plans, media, success, teamwork, mission, solutions, profit. Uh, money, business, motivation, leadership, tactics, risk, value, all the management, all these things, vision, support goals, okay? All these things are in our minds. And we keep telling you guys over and over, especially me, I keep saying over and over again, a lot of you guys are looking for wealth. You guys are looking for things to, to you know, to bring wealth, in the, but you got to remember that your mind can create wealth. Your mind is a wealth transfer, okay? Because, and the, and the reason why that is so important is because how many people have we seen get material wealth and then all of a sudden, three, four, six months to maybe a year or two later, they're broke, they're dead broke. They actually, they're worse off than they were before they, they even had those material wealth because now they have bankruptcies and they have uh, debt that they have to pay off, right? So, and now they have even more, uh, they, you know, now they have to, you know, now they're in bigger hole than they were before. Uh, so, and that's because their minds didn't change. And what have we been speaking about this whole time uh, while we've been in this journey of Iraq and been in this journey of Vietnam and Iran and all these other places that are going to be shifting, uh, you know, shifting their values and, 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 and uh, shifting the way they do business with reforms here in the, in the near future. Uh, you know, what have we been saying? We've been saying if your mind has not changed, if your mind is still poor, you're going to return to poverty. Doesn't matter how many. Doesn't matter how many IQD you hold. Doesn't matter how many. Uh, you know. Uh, um, uh, you know. VND you hold. Reals you hold. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if you if you if you make a trillion dollars off this investment. You will be. You will go back to where your mind is. It might take because you have a trillion dollars. It might take you five years. It might take you, you know, we seen we seen somebody, we seen a billionaire become dead broke in less than five years. There's been billionaires that came up and they're not no longer billionaires. They they're they're dead broke now. And you got other billionaires that became billionaires and now only worth a hundred million dollars. If, if can you imagine being a billionaire worth three billion dollars and now you're only worth a hundred million dollars? That's like in, in in that person's mindset, that's like somebody worth uh that that's like somebody making three hundred thousand a year and now only making ten thousand a year. I mean, it is just. I mean, he's still wealthy, but his mind he's broke. <laughs> you know, at a hundred million. I mean, my goodness, uh, he would. You know, he's thinking of suicide. <laughs> and we're all sitting here like a hundred million. That man, you know what you could do with a hundred million dollars? You know, you know how much generational wealth you can do with a hundred. But that see that's because people, you know, that that's a different mindset. He was at 3 billion. His mindset is completely different, you know, and then he came, come back to a hundred million, all his buddies that are billionaires and, and, and worth 900 million or more, they're laughing at him, right? They're like, oh my God, what happened to you, bro? You, you look, you look like you haven't showered. And this guy has, you know, and he has a hundred million dollars, right? So it's like, it's crazy how, how things, you know, classifications are different. You know, each class is different. You got the 10,000, people make $10,000. You got people that make 100,000, people that make a million, people that make half a million, uh, half a billion, people that make billions of dollars a year. And, and their whole mindsets are all different. It's all the mind. The reason why you're at, we're in the position we're in is because of our minds. Okay, it's our mind. Our mind created this position for us because our minds were thinking things that we weren't supposed to be thinking and it has manifested and we are now dealing in that reality. Okay. A lot of us are wondering why, you know, this hasn't happened or that hasn't happened, you know, and, and instead of just wondering when things are going to happen, they're not taking action. So they're just waiting it out. And when you just wait it out, you're just wasting your life because your mind is is moving, is constantly thinking. Most people's minds are constantly thinking because I've already said, if your mind isn't constantly thinking, you're dead, you know? 
God wants our minds constantly thinking of new ideas because why? Because we're asking God every day for new ideas, for promotions, for things. So God has to cre uh, create these things. It just doesn't happen with a, a slap of a finger. God has to use people to bless us. God has to use people to donate to us. God has to use people to help us out. You know, God has to use people, you know what I mean, that, that have the means to come help us, right? So when you're asking God for to do things or in the universe to help you and to guide you through things, right? God, it doesn't happen with a snap of the finger. The universe has to move. God has to move and, and, and put people in your path to make those things happen, right? Right. But it's the thought. It's the thinking that gets it done. Right. Thinking of good things. I mean, you can go back into your life and look at your last 10 years and how your mindset was. And now you realize why you're living the way you're living right now, because those things that that were in your mind 10 years ago are manifesting themselves right now. OK. And, and or, or they either have already manifested. That's why you went through the troubles that you went through, the poverty that you went through, because you're always thinking negative, always thinking you never, you don't have money, you will never have money, all that stuff that you were thinking about, you're in that position right now, 10 years later, right? So you don't want that to be 10 years from now neither, right? So we understand now because of the internet, because of social media and because of platforms like this, we understand that the reason why we're in, our, are in the positions that we're in is because of our mind. Okay, uh, and uh, also, of course, there is sin, uh, you know, sin puts you in a place where, uh, you know, you can, but but if your mind, uh, you know, we have people who sin all the time and they wealthy. So, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, like God will hit them in other ways, right? God will hit them in other ways, maybe uh, uh, marital problems or, or business problems or things that, or friendship problems or betrayal problems. Like, you know, not every, not every sin has to deal with, with making you poor and fight. You know, if your mind is, 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 uh, is, uh, you know, working itself and, and constantly being positive, then a lot of times when you do sin, you'll, you'll be, uh, you know, you'll, you'll get it, you know, you'll see the backlash of that sin uh, through other means because your mind is constantly uh, creating wealth for you. So, uh, you know, God will hit you in other places, right? <laughs> so you got people who have money in, but they're, I mean, they're, everything else is a disaster around them. They know how to make money, but everything else is a disaster. Their family's falling apart, blah, blah. And that's because they're, they're living in sin, right? And so, and with no, with no repentance. So, uh, so, the, so the mind is a program it is programmed to to be successful. Your mind wants you to be successful, but also your mind is also you know is going to agree whatever you want it to agree with, right? And when it agrees with you, then it, 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 the universe will know, and then the universe will start creating that that new life for you. So if you're waking up and everything sucks in your life, and you're not talking positively towards it. Or you're not thinking positive. You're not thinking about solutions and ways to get out. You're not writing down solutions. You're not talking to family and friends members of how we can get out of our situations and things of that nature. If you're not doing any of that stuff, then you're going. Then basically, you're put, telling your mind and, and universe you like where you're at. You like the miserably. The, 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 you, you like being miserable. You like the suffering. And you want to continue this. So then 10 years later, you're still in the, stuck in the same position because your mind is telling the universe you don't want to change. Even though your actions say you want to change, your mind doesn't, right? Your actions is, oh, my God, my boss is this, my, you know, everybody's that, everybody's mean to me, uh, I, don't, I don't make enough money, everything sucks, right? But the, you're, you're, you're expressing that, but your mind isn't, isn't thinking positive on things to change. You know, isn't thinking positive on who you are as a person. So when you, when your mind, you know, brings out that frequency, guess what? The universe is going to give you what you so desire. So for those that have changed their minds, you know, listening to us or listening to others on YouTube and realizing how powerful your mind is and, and, and the reason why you're in this situation you're in now is because of your mind. <laughs> most most likely a lot of us are in the positions because of our minds right now some of us are in the positions we're in because god wants us in these positions because he's testing us and getting us ready for what's about to happen with with the wealth transfer and you know so god wants to make sure that we can go through the hard times uh, and then and then be, and be ready and make sure we he can trust us uh knowing that we have to rely on him and nothing else 
when we when we don't rely on him, you know, it's a problem, right? So so a lot of us are in the positions we're in because we're waiting on this we're waiting on this wealth transfer that God has promised us, and God is putting us through uh, the wilderness, and some of us are coming out of the wilderness, and some of us are are you know just having to go through things because you know we we, we have a lot that's going to be coming onto us. And so we have to go through the burden so we can be able to teach other people. So that that's two different things, okay? Some of us, you know, some, but many of us, some of us are going through that, but many of us are not, okay? Many of us are just, are just, uh, you know, are people who uh, wake up and our minds are just constantly in negativity, constantly it's everybody's fault but mine, or even you're even blaming yourself for things as well. Um, Today, uh, you know, start getting into the habit and looking to the long term and saying, look, if I want to make my if I want to make the next three to five, ten years great for myself, I need to change my mind. I need to change my mind. I need to change the way I look at the world. I need to change the way I look at people. I need to change the way I look at my family members. I need to change the way I talk about myself. I need to change everything about me. And I got to do it starting with my mind. And I got to do it starting with my mouth. Okay. I am great. I am successful. I am going to fulfill my destiny, right? I am a friendly person. I am a nice person. I'm no longer this mean person. I am a nice person. My family members are not that mean. My family members are not that, not, not that, you know, bad. They're actually good people, you know. They're actually, you know, so like, you know, my job is not bad. God has blessed me and sustained me in this job for a reason. Because if I didn't have this job, I might be homeless, right? So we got to start thinking in those types of terms where, you know, as as things are not as bad as they look and, and God has a plan for us and he's keeping us in certain areas uh, for a purpose, for a time, you know, until we until we get um, the wealth transfer that many people have been promised through God. Now, of course, the wealth transfer is different for many because not everybody is in, a, in the Iraqi investment. Not many people are in the Vietnam investments. Not many people, you know, are in Iran investment. And so other people are going to see wealth transfers through Bitcoin, through, you know, Ethereum, Bitcoin, uh, through other cryptocurrencies. Many people are going to see wealth transfer through their job. They're going to become the, um, you know, maybe the vice president at their job. Uh, they're going to become, you know, uh, they, they might get a buyout deal. Somebody might buy out their, their product or, or, their, or their idea from them. You know, somebody might be listening to you at the, you know, in, at, in Starbucks or at a coffee at Dunkin' Donuts. And you're just pitching an idea to your friend. And somebody, God's going to send some type, some angel uh, to stand right behind you, uh, you know, that, you know, and, and that has millions of dollars and, and they're going to hear your idea and say, hey, man, I'll buy that off you for a million dollars. And that's your, and there goes your wealth transfer. You see? So it, God's going to be doing things like that, putting money in people's banks accounts, you know, and, and everybody's going to, you're going to wake up in a hundred thousands in your bank account, um, you know, and you don't know where it came from. You know, or or he, God's going to be speaking to people's hearts around the world that, that that He is blessed with massive amount of money, and they're going to come and say, "Hey, man, God told me to give you a hundred thousand dollars. God told me to give you a thousand, a ten thousand dollars. God told me uh, since you've been blessing me with this or that, or I heard your video and uh, you made me, you made me, uh, you know, six hundred thousand dollars off of Ethereum. Man, God told me to give you a uh, ten percent of that. You know, like stuff like that's going to be happening." Thing. That's what the wealth transfer is. Okay, it's not just about Iraq. It's not just about Vietnam, which is good. If you're in those investments somehow, some way through the stock market, through the currency, through the through the uh, refineries, through the oil, uh, through any type of other ways, then you're going to be really good, right? Because a lot of because everything is going to be so much people, so much companies around the world are going to be pouring into these countries, these emerging countries once they remove their restrictions and fully, fully come into uh, their place back onto the international stage, right? Um, so yeah, so that's so the wealth transfer is more than just uh, you know than, than Iraq and Iran. It's 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 cryptocurrencies. It's it's gold. It's silver. 
you know, a lot of you guys, some of you guys are at your job right now and you're like, and every time you get a check, you're putting 5% in gold and 5% in silver and, 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 and you hold some, and, and, and you've also invested a little bit of money in Iraq, uh, which is awesome, right? You, you know, you just piling up the gold and silver, the physical gold and silver, and they, you know, every time you get a check and some of you guys are doing that. So you're dealing with the hardship of the job and, and the boss and people making fun of you, but, and you quietly building that gold and silver, uh, you know, investment up because you know what's going to happen to the dollar in the future. And you're just building that up and you hold Iraq as well. You know, you have some Iraq as well, uh, and investments as well. So, and so you're taking that punishment from the, your people, you know the secular world or or from your boss and you're supervising your people because you understand that the pain now is just temporary because as soon as these things are released you know into the wealth transfer you're going to be the one laughing at the end right and then they're going to be feeling the pain because they were relying on a job and you were relying on on the real things precious metals and backed and 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 uh, and, and, uh, and investments that are that are part of, of a wealth transfer right so you you're not you're going to be the last one laughing so a lot of you guys are going through the pain you're dealing with people you're dealing with people at your job you don't like just keep thinking positive, keep being positive, keep and understand that rich people or wealthy people have a have the mindset uh, that poor people don't have. That's the difference. It's the mindset. You take everybody's money right now and, 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 and you say, OK, everybody's back to zero. How many people are going to actually become wealthy again? Mostly it's going to be the poor, the, the, the poor people that are poor right now are going to stay poor. You know, unless they have the wealth transfer and stuff coming, right? <laughs> and, and and the rich people are going to be able to become rich again. And it's because of the mind. It's the mind. It's not the material things. Material things come and go. People can people can become a billionaire one day and be broke the next day. But guess what? They can return to become a billionaire again if their mind is right. If their mind is still in that type of wealthy uh, framework and, and mindset that I'm going to win regardless. If basically, they have a Donald Trump mindset, right? I'm going to win regardless. Everything I do, I'm going to win it. If you have that mindset... You're gonna be a, you're gonna be a wealthy person because everything you do you already set the universe up to make you win in everything you do, you know you'll never you, even if you lose you know you still have that mindset right you you got boxers who lose but still think that they're the greatest ever <laughs> you know and that's what you have to do financially for you know for your mind and to become to be wealthy to maintain wealth you have to have that mindset you cannot receive wealth which some of you guys are and have a poverty mindset which some of you guys are going to do you're going to make that mistake i already know a lot of people in the iqd community are going to make that mistake they haven't trained their mind to be positive they haven't trained their mind to be on that level of, of wealthy people and they're, they're still talking negative they're still uh they, they don't find any solutions to things they just everybody they hate everybody they hate their lives and then here comes five million dollars and you still have that mindset and you, now you're like oh my goodness i got five million dollars but you didn't change your mind and then here we go you know six months to a year to two years later you're back to square one and that five million dollars is gone and you're you're regretting that you ever even received that five million dollars because now you're basically an embarrassment to your family your friends you might even be on a drug addiction you might be on you know what i'm saying like a whole bunch of things could happen after you spend five million dollars i mean my goodness we've seen people go through it crazy you know we've seen people become drug addicts and and, and cocaine addicts and and drunks and stuff like that and because of the money right so we don't want that to happen to us make sure your mind is ready to receive the wealth make sure you're ready i mean you guys we all should be we've been in this for a long time most of us have been in this at least three to five years at the least right some of us have been in and out since 2004 like me in, in iraq investments i've been in and out of it since 2004 in and out in and out right so most of us are ready to receive the wealth because we've been in this so long but that doesn't mean that your mindset is ready because if you're still on, if you're still on Facebook and I'm seeing you post 
about, you know, things like, you know, negative things about, you know, I can never do this right, or I'll never be this, or I'll never do that, or and everybody's broke around me, and, and all this stupid stuff, if your mindset is still making you write that, then you're not ready, you're not ready for wealth transfer, you know, and it's gonna, it's gonna just destroy you, but if you're posting stuff, and your mind is, is posting stuff about today's gonna be a great day, I'm successful today, I'm I'm going to do good today. I'm blessed today. Everybody, I favor everybody today. Thank you, God, for waking me up. I'm blessed today. You know, uh, it doesn't matter how hard my job is. I'm going to put a, keep a smile on my face. That is how, that's how you change yourself. That's how you change your mind. That's how you program your mind to become a wealthy mind so you'll be ready to receive the wealth. Okay? So that's what we should be doing right now because, as you can see, Moose was coming to an end. Okay, so we're ready to receive this wealth, and uh, our minds need to be ready as well. Okay, so be successful, plan, you know, uh, plan your business, plan your ideas with your family and friends and yourself, and have some things for yourself. You know, know the risk, know the risk factors, uh, know the you set goals, support yourself mentally, physically, and, and also your family members, and uh, yeah, and just understand that positivity goes a long way. Uh, you know, things that you're talking about now, things that your mind is thinking about now, you know, in the next three to five years and 10 years, they'll, they'll be manifesting. And you're going to be re realizing, wow, my life is so good because a couple of years ago, I listened to some guy named, you know, Currency365 on Eyes Open Media, and he told me how to change my mind. And three years from that, now, three years later, I've been, I've been thinking positively ever since. And my mind is, and now look at, at, through my mind and, my life looks positive now. I see a, I got a nice house. I got all types of nice things. So uh, I'll let you guys go. Thank you guys for listening. Eyes open. Keep your minds positive all times. Bye.